Hello. Uh, there are going to be slides. Hold on, bear with me. So my name's Ollie Sharp, VP of Amir for Sales Loft. Recently joined after 10 years at LinkedIn. And I will be talking about my slide in a second. Oh, cool. OK, we're there. As I said, that's me. Um, so just 90 seconds quickly about what we do. So the world of sales has changed massively. People are, there's more technology to use. The bar of what gets a response has been raised significantly. So there's some stats here. So prospects open less than 24% of emails. And today's sales professionals spend just 34% of their time selling. So under a third of their t around a third of their time is spent pay doing what you pay them to do. And the lack of data in CRM hampers the most businesses. So I've spent a few years as a sales leader, and my biggest pain point was getting the guys to fill in the CRM. So what sales engagement does, and lots of people have confusion between sales engagement and sales enablement. Sales engage too high. I'm really sorry about this. It's, uh, I'm trying to read from that. So it streamlines the sales process to create personalized and automated sales journeys. So it helps your team basically build cadences so they can communicate with their prospects or even their clients and make it personalized for them. So some of the results that we've delivered. So um, Forrester did some research about sales loft clients and what they found were increased quality of communication, so increase in response rates of two and a half times, improved efficiencies, 20 plus 20% 20 productivity boost. We met a client the other day that in the first uh, month of having our tool, he's increased his product team's productivity three times. And it enables business to build a predictable business model and also understand best practices, who does what, what works for people to pass it around to make sure everyone's as good as or better than your best person. When we work with clients, we also share, if you imagine the data that we have in our system, uh, we also share that data so people can understand best practices across regions. For example, just one small bit of data here. So this looks at the open rate and reply rate and how much of the email is personalized. So this is just one point. So when covering EMEA, if you're going for your target accounts, your top 20%, it may be worth going for 80% personalization. Whereas when in the UK, you're wasting your time, stick at 20% personalization. That's my time up, the buzz is gone, thank you. We've got a, a stand round there, if you need us, come and see us, thank you. Thank you